maxillomandibular advancement. Well, that is the operation uh, for the treatment of obstructive sleep apnea syndrome. And earlier, I had mentioned upper lower jaw advancement. It's the same thing. If you imagine that we have the spine in the back, we have the jaw, upper lower jaws in the front. The distance between the jaws and the spine is the wall, is the walls of the airway. So, if you have a, a small distance between the spine and the jaws, that means that you have a small airway. If you have a large distance between them, then you have a big airway. The treatment for sleep apnea, regardless what type of treatment, is to try to expand the airway. So, maxillomandibular advancement involves cutting the upper and lower jaws and extending the upper and lower jaws out to open up or to widen and expand the airway. So that's the operation, and that's the most successful operation uh, for sleep apnea.